Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energo and today's review will be on the oops, Transformers Armada Deluxe Class Laserbeak. Well, he's technically not classified as Deluxe Class, How uh, his actual designation is I believe Roleplay Class. However, since he's roughly the size of a Deluxe Class figure, he will, I will give him that classification for simplicity's sake. So, Deluxe Class Laserbeak. Here he is. So, yeah. So, here is Laserbeak in his camcorder mode. And for you youngins out there who don't know what a camcorder is, basically, before cell phones had cameras, or more likely before cell phones had good cameras, or even decent cameras, um, people used to record their videos with something like this, which is referred to as a camcorder, which is, you know, camera recorder, but yeah, so here it is. Now, Laserbeak here, unfortunately, is a fictional, cyber, cyberized version of a camcorder. This does not look realistic at all. However, the uh, molding gives it a lot of neat little realistic details, like this little eject button, the other switches, a speaker... Oh, more little buttons here. I forgot what these were. I think these were for like the zooms. And this is, I think, another eject button for, I think, the battery. You have a little speaker here with a nice, with a very nice Autobot logo. And yeah, you heard me right. This is an Autobot version of Laserbeak. Armada, which is, you know, cool like that. And yeah, and as a little function, well, in this mode, he actually has several functions. Oh, and plus, he also comes with a little lanyard here, in which you can just separate and reconnect. Simple as that, but it comes with a little uh, thing here. And features, in camcorder mode, it actually has several features. Uh, these two buttons, these three buttons here are functional, with these two serving as um, sound effects. The top one dedicated to his camcorder mode, and the second button dedicated to his uh, cyber, cyber bird mode. And funny enough, yeah, he technically has three modes with another hidden button, which I'll show later. Yeah, in the camcorder mode, you can then bust out the viewfinder. You get more little accurate little buttons here, like a pause, play, and fast forward. And there's a very nice bit of detail. You can see a very blurry picture of Armada Optimus Prime here, which is very, very neat. And also, even neater, you can actually flip this around, which camcorders would occasionally do. And you can put this even more forward if you wanted to. So you could do this, which a lot of camcorders did do. So now onto the uh, sound effects. The ones that the one you can initiate both, but the ones that are dedicated to this mode are this button, which I think alternate between a camera shutter and I had to look that up. Apparently, that's supposed to be the recording sound. Never heard something like that, but that's what it's supposed to be. So it's a camera shutter and recording, apparently. And that's pretty much it for the uh, camcorder mode. It's still very nice. So let's get on with his, not his bird mode, not his cyber bird mode, but his sort of third mode, which is, you just come down here and pull out this handle. And this is one of two things. Number one, this is either a camcorder with a handle, which were a thing. I do remember that was a thing that existed. Even though, or what this is referred to as is a stun gun, essentially. And you have this button here that does, I think, laser blasts, like actual laser shots. And this handle is meant to be held by a much smaller hand than mine. But yeah, if you push this button. Yeah, just does laser shots, but apparently that's a stun gun. So let me close that back up. So now, onto his actual transformation, which is very simple. In fact, it's like 90% automorphing. With the first step being this little gear here. This little gear, which if you push this all the way back to the right, it locks it in place. But if you turn it in that direction, let me see if I can do this properly, you can actually pop off, pop out his wings. So push this forward. And there we go. You have his uh, wings. And then you bring down the feet. Bring down the feet. And then you push this blue button to flip out the head, and then you can just adjust it. And that's it. That is Laserbeak in his cybernetic bird mode. You can also push this down if you really wanted to, but not supposed to. So yeah. 
And the other and the sound effects dedicated to this mode are the second button, which I think alternates between essentially an eagle call an eagle sound effect or falcon. No, that's, I think that's an eagle calling. And a laser blast, which I think I believe he shoots out of his eyes. But yeah. That's it. And in terms of articulation, you can flap his arms. But that's because they're spring loaded. This too. The head can go move up and down like so. And legs can go forward, forward, back. And has a little pivot well, up and down on his feet. And you can angle him pretty well. And that's pretty much it. He's a very neat little toy with a lot of features built in him. So, but he's not too complicated. So I like it. He's a neat, he's a neat little figure. You can also have him be like that, and I think have him be sort of perching. But, but, there we go. Eject that back up. So, yeah. so laser beak. Nice little figure. Uh, not much articulation, sadly, because he's chock full of gimmicks. Which is something inherent with the Armada line, where they've dedicated a lot of gimmicks. You know, some better, some worse, but at least with this one, I feel that the Armada line is more like paying homages to, like, the G Generation 1, and I think you'll see that more in other characters, where a lot of the figures, like, weren't, where the Generation 1 figures weren't really articulated, but they had nice detailing and would do nice little gimmicks and features. Armada, I felt, was a huge homage to that, so they were a lot more, they were a lot simpler, but with a lot of more added features. Laserbeak, you know, being a good example. Since not much movement, but can do a lot of features. So, on to size comparisons. Here we have Ratchet and Clip Jumper. And as I mentioned earlier, he's roughly deluxe class sized. And that's, well, pretty much it. I guess another details I can mention is that, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, Laserbeak in Transformers Armada was an Autobot. They made him heroic. They, well, not, I don't want to say heroic, but they made him an Autobot in this series, and Armada. Uh, in, in the case of Armada, Laserbeak was not the only character that was given that treatment, where they like they they've changed alignments with that's with uh, with those characters. But Laserbeak, I think, is one of the more I guess out of left field ones. We're like, hey, let's put in Laserbeak. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the show, so I don't remember exactly how they did Laserbeak, but yeah, Laserbeak. So yeah, and nothing much else to say. Nice, neat little figure. So yeah. Uh, th this has been my review of the Transformers Armada Deluxe Class Laserbeak. This is Composite Energy signing off. Peace out and be safe.